Hi guys, I'm Marisol Marcos Smith and today I'm going to be talking about some of the reef fish species that we have here in the Sinai. Also where to properly place your shot, how to properly handle and brain them. So starting off, you can see that they have been labeled 1 to 5. For the difficulty level, 1 being easy and 5 being hard. For level 5, you're going to have to hold your breath longer compared to other lower leveled fishes. And same goes with your technique and your effort. This fish chart is specifically made for the CNMI and all the fish you see here has been measured and is the size you want to catch or even bigger. Doing this will be sustainable. Alright, so you can also see where the numbers are located on the fish. This is the ideal spot where you want to shoot them. Landing a shot here will instantly put them out, therefore the term stone shot. They also have a ladder or line that runs through the fish's body, which is the sensory system or nerves. Landing a shot here will most likely put out its fight. And same goes when you land a shot on their spine. Therefore, the term spine shot. Okay, so now that you have got yourself a fish, and let's say you did not land a stone shot, before handling the fish, make sure it doesn't have spikes, sharp spines, or knives that might hurt you when handling them. And if they do, like for example, this crawfish, it has a large spike on its gill. So you do not want to insert your finger into its gills. Or this unicorn fish that have knives on its tail and sharp spines. Also tough skin and a hard skull. The best way is to grab both of its eyes. And when you do, it might fight and wiggle around. But since you're holding its eyes, you have more leverage. And the spike on its gills won't poke you or the knives on its tail won't cut you. Now to put it out, you can insert your knife into its gills, upwards, towards its skull, braining it. While doing this, be aware of its spikes or knives. For all the fish that you brain, you want to make sure it is totally out before pulling them onto your stringer. You are also able to do this on different kinds of fish that have a hard skull or if you have a difficult time braiding them. Now for spikes on certain fish, you always want to be aware of its dorsal fin. All fish have dorsal fins and they are usually brittle but they can still poke you. For example, the rabbit fish, it has dorsal fin spikes that you really want to be aware of. It could easily poke you and cause a sting. Now as for pirate fish, their dorsal fins and other fishes are not sharp. So when handling them, you wouldn't be as cautious. For fishes that have a soft skull, braining them is much easier. Just insert your knife on the top side of its skull, braining them. Also when shooting a pirate fish, you will always want to land a nice shot. They could easily rip off if you land a bad shot. After braining your fish, you can go ahead and cut its gills and let them beat out. Doing this will preserve the meat and also improve its taste. So take your time learning how to catch certain fish. It will be fun going through each certain fish level. Never push your limits. Always dive with a partner and practice one up one down system all right guys that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching